it's clear that uh, Lysen Rhymer is uh, an efficient uh, way of estimating the value of a uh, call option. And from Table 1 of uh, Brody de Temple 1996, uh, we can see that when we ran estimations of the option where the stock price was uh, 120 and we used these parameter inputs that the value of the American call uh, that we obtained from the Lyson Rhymer code um, was consistent with uh, the value or true value for American call option as set out by uh, Broadit the Temple. Um, given that the this uh, binomial tree is efficient, it would suggest then that when we try to deduce what implied volatility is from an American call, given that there is no closed form solution, uh, just closed form approximations, no clo closed form solutions, that uh, perhaps the Lyson Rhymer procedure, the Lyson Rhymer tree, offers a solution. So, in that vein, I've developed some code um, that was originally adopted from a uh, developed the website, and I've made some changes to uh, the code as the Lyson Rhymer code as it appeared before in the previous two videos. So, um, what I've done here is I've uh, changed some of the commands and um, but largely left the code as it was intact. But in addition to the original code, I've added in a bisection function also taken from Velopta. I developed a website and I've appended that to uh, the Lyson Rhymer tree. So what I hope that I should be able to do is to run um, the estimation and deduce what, if I know what the value of the market price of a call is, so I should make this clear, the market price of the call. Okay, so market price of call, market price of American call, in fact. I, that if I know this, I can then deduce what the implied volatility is. Now, we had before um, the VBA function for Black Shoals, and we had um, made the point that when the when dividend yield is equal to zero, the European option and the American option, American call option, are equivalent. Okay, so values you typically get for European and American call would would yield the same amount, right? So ten forty five zero five eight and forty five zero five eight, whether it's the VBA function um, um, or whether it's a uh, the Lyson Rhymer. Right, so European, American, uh, Lyson, Rhymer, Black Shoals. Okay, so this is one relatively straightforward test, if you like, to deduce what if we took um, the values here, and even though the value here is for an um, European option, because the dividend yield is specified as zero, we can. Um, we can deduce what the implied volatility is, and that will be consistent with the implied vol volatility of the European option. So under circumstances where dividend yield is zero, right, we, the American and European call options are equivalent. And if we have a market value, regardless of whether it's European or American, of 10.4505, we can use our function Right, which is based on a um, binomial tree type construction. We can use our our code here to deduce what the implied volatility is. So this is kind of the first initial test to see is our Lyson Rhymer code working for the American call. Okay, so let's run this. 
and the value I get here is 0 0.19999 and of course the true value if you go back into Excel the true value here is uh, 0 0.2 so if we if we increase this to 0 0.25 then the value for the f option is 1233 I can copy and paste out copy and go back into our Visual Studio project, our C++, C++ Visual Studio project, uh, paste in that value. So let's see, paste, and hopefully it's, uh, yeah, let's just paste. Okay, so the value comes in, and I better fix up. And just do one check. Okay, it's a double. It's uh, read in as a double. So if I run this, the value of the implied volatility, if I run the uh, function again, okay, should be 25% consistent with what's here. So a 25% volatility, the value of the call option is 1233.59. Okay, so when I take that as the market price and execute to try to get the implied volatility it should yield 25 percent okay and the value i'm getting using the slice and rhyme or bisection is 24.999 so again uh, quite close and we would say relatively accurate okay so in a sense then this slice and rhyme or function looks quite promising but even at that, we might like to check against the Brody and the Temple results. And what we can do is put in the value here as the market value of the option. And then see if we can deduce, get the implied volatility and that it's consistent with 20% here. So if I take these parameter values, take note that the stock price is going to be given as 100. The exercise is 100, the risk free rate is 3, dividend yield is 7, and the market price is 4.783. That the value of the of implied volatility would be consistent with this point too. So let's go back into our Visual Studio project one more time and see if I can memorize uh, the values. Okay, so let's come back down again. and we'll just uh, input in the values here okay so we're saying using a 100 step tree we can increase that in a moment that the spot price again was 100 and the exercise was 100 at the time period is equal to 0 0.5 years so that's consistent with body the temple the dividend the risk free rate of three the dividend yield is going to be set here at 7%. We seed the initial guess is very low. The initial guess for the high value for volatility 7 and that the market price of the option consistent with Brody, the Temple in Table 1 of their paper is 4.78. Three. Okay, so the values I have here are consistent with the values from Brody the Temple in 1996. So T equal to 0 0.5, S100, risk rate 3, dividend yield 7, market price of the call 4783. Okay, so let's bring up our, our values here. Let's run and see do we get a value for implied volatility equivalent or close to 20 percent okay so with the 100 steps okay we have a value here of 0 0.20032 so again that's consistent with the broad the temple uh, volatility of 20 percent let's try one other one here what if we use the same parameter values again but change the market price to 10.23.9. 10, okay, 10.23.9. So again, 
and uh, let's get rid of this stop the debug and start again so with this new value 10.23.9 10, let's debug and execute and the debug window opens up with a value of 0 0.399978 and it would appear at least initially that's consistent with the are very close to the volatility here so this license rhymer um project uh, appears to be a, a relatively efficient way of running of determining the implied volatility and we don't use a closed form solution we use the license rhymer tree okay so the implied volatility of the american call is used here is estimated here using a license rhymer 